this rock was actually funny. Today, guys, I wanted to talk about the Chris Rock Netflix special. I won't be showing any clips yet on this channel, but I will be showing some in the future. I don't want to show any right now because my channel is still very young and I don't want to get any uh, copyright strikes, but I will be showing some clips in the future with live videos, so stay here for that. Anyways, I haven't actually seen the full Netflix special. I did see some clips, but what from what I've seen, it is pretty funny, and which is really surprising because I'm really not a big Chris Rock fan, to be honest with you, but what he said is, I have to admit, very funny. And I think it's about time that he finally uh, sort of talks about what happened with the slap last year. I'm really happy that he addressed it because I remember last year when it happened at the Oscars, that was the biggest thing that happened at the Oscars, which is really sad because the Oscars last year was a really big event because it was the first time that a black producer was a black man was producing the Oscars. And um, the Oscars had a lot of good things going on last year, but it was totally overshadowed by Chris Rock's behavior, sorry, Will Smith's behavior at the Oscars. I remember feeling very embarrassed for Chris Rock. But I was really happy that he uh, maintained his composure because if he hadn't maintained his composure, the Oscars could have ended up much worse than it actually did because of what Will Smith did. So now in uh, Chris Rock's uh, Netflix special, he finally talks about what happened between him and Will Smith. And honestly, um, in the special, um, Chris Rock roasts Will Smith. And honestly, he deserves it. What he did to the guy was really embarrassing. I mean, I was watching that and I was so embarrassed for him, you know, honestly, like, so the jokes that he gave about Jada and Will Smith, honestly, I mean, I mean, they were kind of dark, to be honest with you, and I admit they were kind of like below the belts, but they deserve it, you know, they put their information out there for everybody to know about their entanglements and whatnot, and, you know, it's true, Will Smith, you know, he sat there letting his wife, you know, insult him and talk about how she had an affair with her her son's friend, you know, that's embarrassing. I mean, but you put that out there. So, I mean, people are going to make fun of you if you put your information out there. I mean, I'm personally one of those type of people that likes my, my own business myself. So, <laughs> but if you put your business out there, I mean, what do you expect, right? So uh, honestly, like um, right now, that's uh, the fact that, um, you know, Chris Rock has roasted both him and Jada Pinkin Smith. And, you know, it's honestly, um, I'm not surprised. They kind of deserve what um, has happened to them. Anyways, I'm really happy for Chris Rock that, again, he uh, maintained his uh, composure now. I mean, hey, uh, so this is one time that the nice guy doesn't finish last, I guess, right? Because, I mean, he got a really big Netflix special and he's making a lot of money and he's going around and he's looked as the, he's looked at it from the situation as a good guy, you know? And Will Smith is, you know, forever going to be looked at as a bad guy because what he did really, really wasn't cool. You know, I like, I mean, I'll actually, I won't say that. I'm not a big fan of Will Smith. But I like some of his movies, you know, and I kind of thought he was kind of one of those nicer characters in Hollywood. And I'm sure he probably, I don't know him personally, obviously, but maybe he is a nice guy, but what he did wasn't cool at all. You know, I mean, that really put a bad sting in a lot of people's mouths. And, you know, I mean, I know that some comedians could be really rude and get down dirty, but really and truly they're comedians. And I've always, everybody knows when you go to comedy shows, you don't sit in the front row. And I guess that's not really applicable to this situation because, you know, you know, um, it was at the Oscars, but really and truly what he did wasn't really cool. Um, so now Chris Rock has his opportunity to get his revenge. <laughs> anyway, that's it for me for now. You guys know the drill. If you like what you've seen, if you like what you heard, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Bye.